Hey guys, Kingboy3800 once again, and I just got back from the flea market um, again, and let me switch this out of auto focus. So there we go. And I'm just going to show you what I picked up, so to say. All these things I got for $5, so $15 total. First up is a compact Presario, or HP if you prefer that, before they swap names. Um, this is model 1245. It's got all these little customization buttons down here. We have internet, search, volume up and down, shopping, mail, left click, right click. And it has internet zone down here. Up here is the power button. Doesn't hold a charge. Either that or, you know, well, there's no charger. The screen could um, use a, some tightening up. Let's see what's on it. You have a um, comp, um, CD ROM drive here. You have the battery here that's uh, not being held in by anything. In the back, you have your power input, printer, serial, fan, external monitor, USB, um, S, no, no, S video, um, PS2 keyboard and mouse, dial up, one PC MCIA slot, which is odd because they normally come with two, and then a floppy disk drive, and the battery keeps falling out. That's always great, right? I have a feeling it should be the other way around, but no. Then on the front you have your um, headphone and microphone inputs and battery fell out again. Next I got a Gateway Solo. 2000 again for five dollars. First thing you notice is that this doesn't really seem to work. This little sticker says 65. I don't don't think you can see it, but I really got for five. Left click, right click, power is up here. Again, no power on. Standard keyboard. I'm trying to have your CD-ROM drive. Right side you have um, microphone, um, sp rear speaker, then um, your phone, In infrared, um, PS2 mouse, external monitor, which is actually very nice touch. It's yellow, so you know what it is. Power input printer. Um, we call it docking station, serial, um, external monitor. There's something under here that I'm not quite sure what it is. Probably the hard drive or battery. I don't want to risk breaking it. I'll try one last time. Ah. Two PC NCIA slots. And then I assume here is where something else would go, probably the hard driver, external memory. There's screws on the bottom of it, so I assume hard drive. And then memory would go under here. This is the more complete one, as you can tell. And finally, I got this one wrapped in an extra bag. It's not another laptop. So there's another double of something I already have. Atari 2600 Heavy Sixer. Um, the guy I bought this from said he had video problems, so just fix the cord and I should be good. Anyways, I got all this stuff for $15 total, which I think is a very good deal.
especially the 2600. I've seen heavy sixers go for as much as 120. And, um, yeah. Well, thanks. Game Boy out. I have to go take a crap. Okay, um, just to test them out, let's see. After giving this one a little bit of a charge. Seems to turn on alright. It's not plugged in. It's on the battery. It's got 48 megs of RAM and a 166 megahertz processor. And when there's a me, look at that. And it shut down. Poor battery. Let's try that again. Obviously the battery doesn't last very long. One beep. Not sure if you can see this, but it has a few dead pixels. Gonna go under normal. And it boots just fine in the Windows ME. Hmm, I didn't do this the last time I, um, plugged it in and bigger it up. Next to the compact, it's over there, the hard drive, um, it wouldn't boot into Windows 2000, that's what it was on. It's got a 3 gigabyte hard drive, don't know if you can... See it anywhere? It's around here someplace. Ah, here it is. Yep, 3.25 gigabytes. It throws. There we go. Obviously Windows ME is meant to be on a little bit faster processor. Here's just restore my active desktop thing. It did that the first time I turned it on. Second time it seemed okay. But overall, it seems to be doing pretty good, and there's two percent remaining charging. It charges and it's got the clock on yet again. But at least it has the date right. So let's modify that.
Okay, it's got nothing else on it, no other programs. A shortcut to a CD game that looks like it was on it. Yep, high roller. It has a new wave sound. Let's just see what that is. And Windows Emmy was the first to have a Windows Movie Maker in it. Windows 95, I'm guessing, was the first to have a Windows Media Player that was on the floppy disk at drive. And Windows Media Player, media changing. And there's no sound. After that, let's take a look at some of the games that the guy has on it. Internet, Internet Reversi, Spades, Minesweeper, Pinball, Spider Solitaire, Classic Hearts, Classic Solitaire, Free Cell, Internet Backgammon, Internet Checkers, and Internet Hearts. That's about it for this one. Nothing else, I'll go into the little control panel thing. Well, as for, um, yep, total 775 megabytes, almost 1 gig, not much Windows ME. It's got good display drivers, good everything else. Okay. Analyze system. The guy got a scroll. Pentium processor. We saw before it was 166 megahertz. It's just 48 megs of RAM. And it's got Windows. I mean, registered to a home. Device manager seems to have everything that you could need. Plug and play BIOS. Got a reset. It's undocked hardware profiles. Performance. And yeah, many people don't like Windows ME. I don't I don't mind it actually. Seems to run okay. Even though this is a pretty slow processor for it. This is this processor is better for Windows 95 or Windows 98 if you want to push it. But anyways. Yeah, this is the Gateway Solo 2000. So thanks, Game Boy out. Okay, I'm checking out the, um, Bacheria 1245. Um, it's been staying at the starting window side for about 10 minutes now. And I'm not sure what's up. I've tried all sorts of different hard drives. This is the other one that had the um, best luck. I assume Windows either ME or 95 is on it. Possibly 98, maybe XP, I don't know. An earlier version of Windows, simply saying. But all the others I have. No OS, no OS, and no OS. Even though I know one of them, at least one of them, has an OS. Oh, and this one. And for a little bit of fun, I tried the Apple um, logo, or Apple one. It didn't work. But it would have been nice if it did. Tried to put the Windows 95 um, CD in it, but so far, no go. What's up? Please let me know. I'll see if I can get it to work if I change the boot order and the BIOS and stuff.
Okay, this is a different hard drive. I just want to show you that it's an operating system not found. Different hard drive in there. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show you the blinking light one. Okay, it's booting up. There we go. Blinking line. If I'm not mistaken, I'll also do this for about 12 hours. So, yeah. Well, any idea what's going on? Please let me know. Thanks, Game Boy out. Okay guys, this is actually one week later, and this is part two. Um, of the, well, it's not really part two, it's all in the same video, but, um, yeah, halfway through my flea market finds, last week there was the Gateway and Compaq, just how much two IBMs, and I also wanted to get a Compaq Perserio, or something like that, Compaq Perserio, not Perserio, I don't know. But it was really neat looking, but, um, the power jack on it was, um, like, off. It was dead. So I left that there. But in the meantime, I do have these 17 minutes of battery left, according to the camera. So, without further ado, let's get started. First off, we have this big old IBM computer. Seems pretty standard. Oh yeah, the fans are above me because, you know... I'm um, quite hot nowadays. Let's put standard. They have a little window here for something. I have a DVD ROM drive here. Power jack and something underneath it. Got a little foot to hold it up. PS2 mouse. I assume also PS2 keyboard. PS2 mouse. Um. Um, phone line, serial, printer, a single USB port, um, video out or VGA out, and um, S, S video out, I think. Yeah, S video out. And a little foot here. You have your ducts here for something. Not sure why they're there since the fan is actually right here. You'll probably not see it. But there's a little. A little fan in there. On the side you have a PC NCIA card. And I'm just going to see where it is. 10 megabits LAN. I actually do have a LAN um, card thing, so we'll see if that'll work with this. And I put it in wrong, I think. Whatever, I'll get it later. You have your stereo jacks here, floppy disk drive here, then we return to the front with all these little buttons on the side. Opening it up, you see that the screen is quite loose. I just, um, tightened up some screws and, well, but, tightened up some screws but it's still loose. Pressing the E key up here, and that's better. Power buttons up here, you have internet option buttons up here. Little nub thing here, left click, right click, then some other click. I'm not used to using IBM, sorry, I'm not quite sure what this bottom middle one down here is. And that little window is to see probably just for a date time thing when you boot up. Oh, it's got these, so it's probably a, oh, a CD-ROM player and track 6 or 7 stuff would be on that. That's done looking at that one. Under this you have much of the same. It says JP on it. What does that stand for? Japan?
uh, assembled in Mexico. Anyways, you have your vent here, one USB port down here, and your little cover, power, phone line, little thing to un unmatch the screen. Mm, DVD ROM drive on the front. Something here for an external floppy drive. Two PCMCA slots in. From the looks of it, one's a tad longer than the other. I don't know. In the back, you have your PS2 mouse connection, printer, and VGA out, docking port, serial port, power, and then we return to the side again. This one seems to be in much better condition, and I have no idea what that is. Inside is Pentium 3, you can't see it, but it says it. Speaker here and here. All keys are present. And this one seems to be in better condition. Seems to be. I don't know if it will even power on yet. Down here it actually has a sticker saying $100 or best offer. Of course, I paid $10 each for these. Don't know why it's $100 down to $10, but who cares? I'm not complaining. I have an IBM power adapter here. They're both 16 volt in service, so let's see if it'll read the power. Not a good sign, no lights, and that's because I didn't turn on the power strip. Oh my. Okay, now there's a light. Blinking battery. Obviously a dead battery, but oh well. Oh, no, it's doing that. No, it's solid. It's always a good sign. Do a little power slider. And it seems to be turning on nicely, but whether or not it will stay on or better yet work is something else. 227 megabytes of RAM has got a bad CMOS battery by the looks of it. That little button shuts off the backlight. DVD driver has nothing in it. And I'm not sure why it's not doing anything. I have a little adjuster down here. Maybe it's asking me to reboot. And it does sound like it has a little fan in there. There we go, now it won't get an annoying beep. Okay, Microsoft Corporation, I have 8 minutes of battery left. There's one thing about this camera, the battery sucks.
Let's see which OS we have. Windows Vista. Windows. Yeah, Windows Vista. Oh, Windows Vista. When will I ever escape you? Hmm. Seems to work right, other than the fact that the CMOS battery is shot. Some programs, a new programs installed. A jerks. Since it has a USB port, I will probably use that for a little mouse. Windows Vista, let's see what's on it. Ah. Oh, I see what it has. It's Windows XP, but with a Windows Vista look. Pentium 3 processor at 448 megahertz and 328 megabytes of RAM. So, yeah, it just has the Windows Vista look. Which I honestly don't see the point of because Vista, as far as I can tell, wasn't that great to begin with. It does have a nice little menu bar up here. I wonder how big the hard drive is. Let's take a look at that. Ha, <laughs> six gigs total. So, yeah, that's that one. I'm going to shut it down right now. Here we have time to look at the other one before the battery goes kaput. So from the looks of it, yeah, this one works, seems to work alright. Well, I did hibernate. But yeah, there you can see Windows XP hibernating stuff. Whether or not the battery holds a charge is none of my concern right now. I just want to get this review done. And this one also has a power light coming on. Very hard to see, but it's there. And, ah, there we go. That little light down there actually turns on. CMOS battery bad, real time clock error. It's got 261 megs. Enter. Just gonna do enter to continue. By the sounds of it, there's also a DVD in here. Scary 4. Probably won't play, it's got fingerprints in here. This is another one with Windows XP. Kind of disappointed because, you know, I'm into old stuff. Starting up Windows. Husky, or whatever kind of dog that is. New programs installed again. And lag, that's not good. Probably slow processor. Probably meant for something else like Windows 2000 or ME. Celeron 498 megahertz, 256 megs of RAM. Windows XP Pro, again. Because it's missing the little nub. It's not the grace it could be. And this one, I checked it before, there's 6 gigs total. 6.03 actually. 
So hooray, another 300 megs of, or 3 megs of RAM. One thing I don't like though is that, if you look down here, um, yeah, 3 minutes of battery left. It's got a little line up across the bottom, and it's not always the best sign. But as you can tell, these seem to work okay. So, yeah. In total, I spent $20. I got th um, four new computers and um, an Atari console. So, yeah. Very nice deal. I have two minutes of battery left. So, what to do for two minutes? I don't know. Let's take a look at this scary 4 DVD for a second. Getting ready to throw some of the fingerprints on it. Probably not, a, probably not a very good thing because because it's scary, probably someone raping somebody and I'm destroying vital evidence, removing the fingerprints. Enter video. Sounds like one of those old um Devex players. Like some kind of this bad homemade not, movie. That's the cesspool. Damn it. Yeah, okay, enough of that. Well, as you can tell, these seem to work okay. Um, so that's three good working computers. And one of them when load windows 2K, but no matter. They all seem to work okay. Of course, this one, I'm just missing the S key and the screen's a little bit loose. But, yeah, they work just fine. So, thanks, Game Boy Out. And I have currently no miniature battery left. Bye.